Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be doing this particular mask. It is a NECA figure based on Jason Voorhees. This is part three uh, from the actual movie before he got axed in the head. And I ended up picking it up because I wanted to get a few more Jason masks. I got a whole bunch of them hanging on my wall, but in fact, uh, when it comes to uh, Friday the 13th, I do prefer Jason over Michael Myers only because he is much more vicious in his killings and the fact that he's supernatural where a lot of people seem to think that Michael Myers is supernatural and he's not. He's just a human that's capable of surviving a lot of beatings especially in the uh, I think it's Halloween Kills. I think they, they gave him a serious beat down and he survived it and he got shot in the face and stuff like that but he didn't get shot in the head because Obviously, he would have died because he's still human, but he's got incredible strength for a serial killer type uh, attitude of his. Most serial killers in their own right are usually normally stronger than some people because of the way they think. So I don't know how it goes, but anyway. Long story short, Michael Myers is still not supernatural. He's not on the same level as Jason. Jason has been killed so many damn times and he keeps coming back. He's almost in impossible to kill. But he does die, don't get me wrong. But he always seems to come back. Michael Myers technically has not been killed yet. He's been shot in the face. And obviously he got the, the major beat down and stuff like that. But he survived all that stuff, okay, for the most part. But that's what people like that do. They survive. They're, they're extremely strong mentally. But in the very last movie, Halloween Ends, he was very weak and feeble from that beat down. But once he started killing, he started getting stronger and stronger. But obviously, towards the end, uh, they grinded him up. Now, here's my opinion about that. It's most likely it probably wasn't Michael Myers that they grinded up. That'll give him a reason for, for them to bring him back. Uh, but if it was Michael Myers and he does come back, that's when he becomes supernatural, just like Jason, okay? But anyway, we're going to talk about this mask in general, okay? I'm going to pull it out of its package. Obviously, the way they packaged it, um, it's going to take a little bit of time to get it out, okay? But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the turntable, and we're going to kind of look at the box package, I mean, packaging of it and the artwork and everything. Then we're going to dig right into the actual mask. And I also got the other one, the Part 3 mask, and we're going to compare the, two, the, the differences between the two of them. And I will tell you this, when it comes to these masks, they're very high quality. I mean, they're thick and everything. And they feel comfortable on your face, too. And we're going to wear it so you can see what it looks like. So let me shut this down. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, before we get into this, is push this back out of the way. There we go. Now... Let's get into the packaging here. Boom. Now, obviously, there's going to be some glares here because it's still in its package. It says this is not, f not a toy, okay? So keep that in mind. You cannot play with this, okay? <laughs> you need to go out there, wear your mask, and kill people, okay? Age 17 and up, okay? NECA toys, okay? Real toys, they seem to be doing a lot of the toys. They must make the actual toys, and NECA actually sponsors them, or, you know, is the owner of the company, pretty much. Here's a side of the package. That looks cool right there. And that'd be cool artwork for your desktop. Okay? That's a prop replica, so keep that in mind, okay? Other side is pretty much the same, okay? And it does say prop replica, okay? So it's almost an exact duplicate of it. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. Let's do it the right way. Again, it tells you it's a constant reminder Jason Mask Prop Replica. Okay, let's check out the back of it, okay? Now, I will tell you this about these things they are comfortable to wear, believe it or not. All right. Especially if you got a big head and stuff like that. It actually looks good on you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera down. I'm going to pull this thing out of this package. And then we're going to look at it. And then we're going to compare it with the other one. Okay? Be right back. Hello. We are back. And I just pulled that out of this package. It was a little struggle because, like I said, it's encased in plastic. Uh, but once I cut it out, it was okay after that once I got my hands in there. So 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and inspect the actual coloring and everything. And judging from what I see, uh, the actual dirt and stuff like that is technically not really good in the scheme of things. But it's going to be okay because I'm just basically going to uh, display it. Okay, now keep in mind there's two buttons down here. Some people just strap them on a little bit different. But in most cases you, you got your top three buttons here. Uh, the markings, obviously. Okay. And I'm going to show you the other one here in a second here. This is before he actually got axed. Alright, when uh, Corey Feldman came in with the axe. Busted his ass with him. <laughs> but anyway, it's... Other than the actual color and the way they handled it and the blotches. Now, if you ever go and check out uh, homemade masks, there is this guy. He's a YouTuber and he's big on this. His name is Big Hush. He does a fantastic job on all kinds of crazy designs when it comes to these kind of masks. He'll take um, the actual um, molds or, you know, you get the cheaper versions of these masks. And he'll turn around and cut them out and, you know, sand them down and spray paint them. And he does all kinds of crazy stuff with it. He does some impressive work on these uh, masks. Now, I did a couple myself. And they're hanging up on the wall. They're okay. But I'm not on the level of him because he's been doing it for a while. But I thought that was cool. So I end up doing it myself. And it's a cool thing to do if you ever want to get into something like that. But anyway, the actual blotching and the, the uh, smudging and stuff like that. It's okay. It's not the best, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do here, once we get uh, done looking at this, is I'm actually going to wear the mask, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay? All right. See, so that is what she looks like. Right. Now, keep in mind, straps, okay? There are people who actually make these, and actually would use literally leather straps. They look fantastic. But like I said, if you don't actually do make your own, uh, you're capable of doing that if you want to. But that's high grade. Okay, now you can tell that's from NECA. Okay. Now the actual thickness of the mask, as you can see, it's quite thick. You can't even bend it. That's how hard this thing is. It's an actual, uh, an exact replica, as they say. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this other one here. I'm going to show you the differences between them, the smudging and everything. Is almost the same. Like I said, almost the same. Okay. All right, you can see the axe mark up there. Okay, that's the only thing different. This is from part three throughout the entire movie until we got to the end of part three. Then you get this. Okay. Well, in the next movie, that's what you see this. All right. But these are very cool looking masks, especially NECA. Now, these are a bit pricey. They, with uh, shipping and handling, they will push over close to 50 bucks for these things. Uh, but in my opinion, if you're, just, if you're a big fan of Jason and you just want to hang them for displays or actually use them during Halloween, they are great masks to invest in, okay? So keep that in mind. I don't have anything too negative to say about these, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to actually wear the mask and show you what it looks like on my face, okay? So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, this is what it looks like with the mask on. Now, I'll tell you this, the center strap here, if you're not careful, you got to put it right down the center of your head, or it won't fit right, okay? you got to kind of adjust it a little bit, okay? Hang on for a second here. Try to find the eyes. There they are, okay. That's what she looks like right there, okay? Just messing around. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, it looks really good. Okay. But anyway, that's it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the very next video. Okay. All right. Bye.